Three words about Hackney. I love Hackney. Yeah. yeah I'm a Hackney boy. Vibrant. Multicultural. Spontaneous. Inclusive. Sometimes rebel. Do you know what's crazy about Hackney? Just random people start talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are making a film about a photographer called Stephen Gill. And about 10 years ago, he went around Hackney taking pictures. And this is the work he did. It's a project called Hackney Flowers. I'd be interested in hearing just your first impressions. The pictures make me feel as if there's almost a kind of a sort of a dualism, I guess, in some ways. It's the difference between nature and, I guess, the urban. It's good. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad, especially the, this one. It reminded me of my village when I used to be in my village. Yeah? Yes. I'm seeing a sad woman. She wants to be free, but she's thinking, how? <laughs> this is brilliant. This is, idea is very nice, really nice. This is almost like giving it a, a positive spin. To me, it looks like it's a kind of pouring a, a potpourri of, of, of uh, beauty on a, a damaged landscape. So how did he make this? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how he did it. So his first step was actually to walk around Hackney, which, is, which was his local area, mm -hmm. with a disposable camera. Oh. I really enjoyed working with the disposable cameras. It was completely different. You could hear just, that's it. What did you take? How it looks? You cannot edit it. I suppose the image you capture is, yeah, it's just really raw. You just get what's there. So all these shots are physical pictures that he developed himself, printed himself, and then he did something to the physical image. In fact, none of the process is digital. He buried them. He buried them and let the chemicals react with the soil the different kinds of soils really affected the end art in entirely unpredictable ways. It felt like the ultimate way to connect his art to the place it was representing. Uh, we didn't bury our prints because of sort of time constraints, but that meant that we could sort of creatively think about how we could affect the images in other ways. I, I started thinking about neighbourhood and like what, what is your neighbourhood? Like to me, like neighbourhood meant my family. I put it in the washing machine when I got home because I really wanted to bring in the domestic space. The opposite way to Stephen Gill who sort of brought the nature into the urban. I wanted to bring the inside and the outside together. Once he'd finished playing around with the image, he went back and collected little bits and bobs from the area. So all the flowers, all the berries, they all come from Hackney. They all come from the area where he took the photo. And then he superimposed them onto it and then took the picture again. Um, the objects from the area. That adds another physical layer, but more than physical layer, it adds another layer of meaning too. So putting together two different stories, two different moments, two different uh, situations, one in the past and one more recent, and it's like playing with the timing, I think. In the photos where there are flowers, the flowers are usually decaying. Mm. So I was just wondering if it's something that he picked up from the ground, or something that he let like decay. A lot of people, when he see the flower, is feeling nice, isn't it? When you see the flower, a lot of color, yeah. Color mean like is your life. Sometimes it's beautiful color, sometimes it's not good color. You know, life is like same. It also reflects, I guess, the mortality of humans. We're not always going to be living on forever, and the fact that no matter what we really try to do, nature will always beat us. Discovering how Stephen Gill did his artwork really helped me to understand his work and connect with his work rather than just by looking at it. And it was really inspiring. I guess everybody could try and everybody could have a go and try themselves. In the boroughs southeast, where the crowded council estates meet the busy deli counters, where the drinkers on the street aren't just the street drinkers, the war across the divide breaks out. Primary school kids with water balloons, and a man with a camera takes a picture. Captured on film, tough little oiks taunting water splashed trendies, and bang, he gets one in the lens too. <laughs> 